and just continuing the practice problems here on anti-differentiation. F primed is the sine of x and we need to find f of x, the function that has the sine x as its derivative. Well that would be the negative cosine function. The derivative of negative cosine x is sine x. So f of x is negative cosine x plus c. Number eight, f prime of x is secant squared. Well what function f here has secant squared x as its derivative? Well, the tangent function, tangent function, tangent of x, has secant squared x as its derivative. So f of x is tangent of x plus c. Number nine, f prime of x is secant x tangent x. Well, you probably recognize that too if you remember your derivatives of the trig functions. The secant function has secant x tangent x as its derivative. So f of x is secant x plus c. And number 10, f prime is negative cosecant x cotangent x. That's a negative sign right there. So what function has negative cosecant x cotangent x as its derivative? And again, if you, if you properly learned your derivatives of trig functions, then f of x is uh, the cosecant function because the derivative of the cosecant function is negative cosecant x cotangent x. And one more here, f prime of x is cosine of 6x. Now notice we've got a composite function here. We've got cosine on the outside and 6x on the inside. So let's think about this. Well, what function has the cosine as its derivative? Well, let's try the sine function. So if I say sine 6x, now let's test this. Take the derivative of sine 6x and see if we get that. So what's the derivative of sine 6x? The derivative of sine 6x is cosine 6x times, by the chain rule, the derivative of 6x, so times 6. So if we take the derivative of this, we get cosine 6x times 6. There's this extra factor of 6 right here which we don't want because that doesn't show up right there. So to get rid of that we simply divide by 6 which means we need to divide by 6 right here. So now try taking the derivative of this and you should get that. The derivative of this is going to be 1 sixth because this sixth right here just stays as a constant multiplier. 1 6 times the cosine of 6x times 6 by the chain rule, that 6 right there is the derivative of my inner function over here. And then those 6's obviously cancel out, leaving us with cosine of 6x, which is what we wanted. So f of x has to be sine 6x over 6 plus c.